December 7, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. I was home okay. on the farm. Yes. How did you learn about it? I think by uh, battery-operated radio. They report to Fredonia and take a bus and and go to Buffalo to register. Mm -hmm. So in the but in the meantime, I had signed up in December. The Merchant Marine, mm -hmm. on the We had ex-Marine sergeants, <laughs> and it was down on uh, the eastern end of Coney Island, Sheepshead Bay, and uh, a lot of close military per, er, marching, uh, a lot of swimming, because, uh, well, you know, they, they had so many ships sunk. Mm -hmm. And uh, you had to really swim, otherwise you would have been sucked in the down current as the ship was sinking. And I was assigned to the ship MV Cape Henry it was loading up uh, all kinds of material, and we went to, uh, as they reported, as we ended up in uh, Richmond, California, where they loaded up, I think, at two holes with uh, 55 or 50 gallon drums of diesel. Uh, we departed for Honolulu, Hawaii. And that was June 18th, because that was my brother's birthday. And uh, they loaded up the deck with the uh, Jeeps, half tracks, six by sixes. Oh no, I'm with a couple tanks anyway. You know, and uh, some of the other uh, I think there were five holes on the ship, and some of them was filled with uh, army gear issues, like boots and clothes and all that. And while I worked in the mess department, working with the uh, officers and there, and uh, that was uh, serving officers mess and that. We uh, had the uh, Navy Armed Guard on board ship was roughly, I think it was 22 members of the Armed Guard. Uh, where'd you go from there? Marshall Islands. Marshall Island? You had a week talk. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I think that was around the 4th of July, 45. And uh, after that, we left for Ulithi which is another uh, area uh, for ships accumulating. Sometime in August, we left for Okinawa. And I don't recall whether we got to Okinawa when uh, our president, Harry Truman, authorized the dropping of the A-bomb. And uh, I found out afterwards if they hadn't dropped the A-bomb, we were supposed to be in a convoy to invade the island of Honshu, mm -hmm. which I think probably we might have paid the ultimate price. How did you learn that the bomb had been dropped? They come over the ship's radio. The bad time of the year for uh, typhoons. And, uh, and I think it was either two or three times we had to pull up anchor at Okinawa and get out to sea because they didn't want you near island because on account of the rocks and right. that. And you'd go out there and that would last probably probably a week or so for everything to calm down. Do yeah. you remember getting caught up in a typhoon? Oh, yes. Yes. Talk about it. Well. What was it like? Huge waves. I mean, that ship would dive in and it would be completely covered with water. And then the, the stern would come up out of the water and the screw would be just fanning the air. And when that hit, it would just surge. And uh, 
I, I didn't realize that, but that put an awful jolt on the diesel engine. Uh, you know, well, it's just like the, I guess when the, our power lines kick out and it hits back the generators, you know. They, Did you get sick during the typhoon? No, no. Uh, because they lasted about well, three weeks. The skipper even got seasick. Uh, the, the thing like that, when you worked there, you covered the tables with a wet cloth so things wouldn't slide off. You know, you rolled and pitched, and uh, you know, you, and it was amazing how, the, how your cups and plates would cling to that wet tablecloth. You, uh, you slept with your life jacket. Yeah. Yeah. No, you had them on the narrow bunks that had the side rail on it. No, the only time, as I recall ever, uh, when we were at Ulithi, we got, I don't know, like a two hour, we could go to the island for a couple cans of 3-2 beer. <laughs> and, uh, and that some of them, the uh, veterans, were coming from Europe that were in there. And there were some bitter fights there because, well, I, I probably shouldn't use this language, but uh, the, <laughs> they said, uh, we come over here and fight your fucking war. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, you know, you get some characters on board ship. And I don't remember where they used some rebels, but then how they got into some of the stuff and made this what they call hooch. And, but uh, being down near the tropic, uh, the uh, odor got pretty strong, so the captain or somebody uh, confiscated it. So. Arrangements are now being made for the formal signing of the surrender terms at the earliest possible moment. General Douglas MacArthur has been appointed the Supreme Allied Commander to receive the Japanese surrender. When you got the word from President Truman that the war was over, yes. what was the reaction on the ship? Jubilee. Yes. Hip, hip, hooray. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, well, first off, they unloaded the ship of all the army equipment and the, and the drums of the diesel. And the Where did you unload? In Okinawa. Okinawa, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the, uh, a lot of the, uh, well, like the signal core uh, reels of uh, wire and that, that, that just went overboard. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, it's. Misplaced yeah, during yeah, the storm. Yeah. Well, it, right. They just, I just think, you know, there were so many ships and so much material, they probably just didn't have space for it. Uh, yeah. They got a chance that they went ashore and they had this Japanese prisoner in a, uh, a jeep. And I, I got probably about that close to him, and, you know, and you, uh, you know, it must be what the thoughts run through. Are you going to trust this critter? Because I got back into San Francisco December 22nd, 1945. Did you get to go through the Golden Gate Bridge? Yes. What was, your re what was your reaction when you went through that? That's the greatest sight you could ever see. You know, when you left, you looked at that. Will I ever see that again? And then when you come back, yeah. Yeah. Well, I was fortunate that I could serve uh, in the Army, the, or the Merchant Marine, and uh, in the Army. It's, uh, it was something I would never trade for. I mean, it was the greatest experience, because otherwise, 